Hey, what's going on, everyone? Dev the Michigan here, coming at you from Cran Book Science Institute. It's a museum, and we're here, and we're gonna have some fun. So let's go have fun. First exhibit you come up on is exhibits of different birds. Here's a penguin. That owl's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy looking. This way to the T-Rex. There's the T-Rex. Every museum has to have one. So there's this one right here. Shot teeth right there. How many of these birds are different? I see what these do. Just shows you different things. This is not a velociraptor. No, it looks like one. It is not. Shows you like the earth, the way it's positioned in the different seasons. That like it's pushing. Like right now, we're in winter, so we'd be way. Huh. It makes snow ice flow. So I guess this is ice, and we're making it flow. Bones from my mastodons. This is where like uh, the cyclops comes from. So they found these skulls of uh, mastodons and elephants and mammoths. And they thought it was uh, cyclops. And some baby skunk. Different creatures. And Big spot. Gives some information. There's a mastodon, which is basically a fuzzy elephant with small ears. They have a whole wall of arrowheads here. That's gross. Sponges. Ooh, jellyfish. A big star. I used to have one of those. I don't know what happened to it. It was that man of war. That's that one uh, that was spotted in Florida when we were visiting the beach. Leopard sharks. We pet one of those in Florida. Look at that seahorse. That's a pretty seahorse. Seaweed, sea dragon. Ooh, look, look at the butterflies. Frog. The frog where it's supposed to be. Look yeah, this whole wall of butterflies. Ooh. It's a flamingo. And a creepy, oh, that's kind of creepy baboon. This museum is really cool. The only thing is you have to wear a mask while you're in here. Um, but it's really cool to see all the cool exhibits. And it's, not, it's a local museum, so if you have a local museum, go check it out. Now we're headed into the Native American section. It shows you everything. And they have some pretty cool projections here. And they even have like this big like storybook. Kind of like Walt Disney magic. See, look. See? Walt Disney Hello there. Magic. It's me, Meg. So nice to see you today. Thank you. Come over here and you can actually learn. See, let's see what this is. It's a blowgun dart in quiver. That's how they carry their blow darts. Their guns are the arrows. Different types of bows. It is a real shrunken head. Wow. Cool. 
all seasons works. And here it just shows like the different seasons like birch maple forest, oak hickory forest. Oh wow, it feels like I'm walking actually inside these. Cedar. These are really cool. I suppose I can just keep walking right into them. Sand dunes, we have a bunch of those here in Michigan. If you guys check out my uh, sand dune video. Leaders of tribes led by example, always considering their people's thoughts. Now if you're really into rocks, they have a whole section on rocks here at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. Hey, look, that's, that's lava. Lava from Hawaii. That's cool, I like that. Look at this over here. That's a pretty cool rock, it's copper. Copper, hmm. They have a cutout, so you can touch it. Huh, it's copper. Almost looks like a diamond. Copper. I know Michigan's known for copper, so yeah, this is a whole all from Michigan too. Up in the UP. Wow. Well, it looks like they have a garden you can actually visit, but not at the moment because it is a What's that big thing? I spy game. Here, here's a list. So let's see if we can find some stuff in here. An orange. Egg. Okay, the orange egg over there. Two. Five triceratops. Three. Oh man. Um, I need to see Four one triceratops. There's one. Two. Three. One, two, three, four. Where's the fourth one? I need to pick one. Triceratops. There's a black one right there. I said that's one, two, three, four. four. Uh, there's one more somewhere. Oh, right here. Here's a triceratops. It's a fun little game they have here for kids. They do have a uh, cafe here called Reflection Cafe. We might stop in there and see if we can get to eat or get a drink or something. I think it's open. Yeah, I think it's open. Here they have like all like the stars and planets. And they have more minerals down there. Ooh, this is cool. Now they do have a lot of uh, different minerals here. Like they have like one section that are just specific to Michigan. So yeah, they have sulfur you can look at. You can even find your birthstones here. It's very awesome. This is that words. You can read that. There you go. What's your guys' first stone? Put it down in the comments. Let me know. They got fool's gold. People think this is gold, but it's actually it's called fool's gold. Looks like gold. I can see where it comes from. Now I like to see if they have any gold here. Cool to see if they actually have gold. I have found the gold. It's a big piece of gold. To the fun part of the exhibit, the interactive part of the exhibit. When we deal with motion. Ooh, that's this, let's see. Balance. See if we can balance it. There we go. I did it. Ball hole. Hey, look at there's your ball. Oh, we gotta make it so it bounces. Missed. Put the ball in there and it comes out up there. I think it's the same. Oh, I'm going 
have to go this way. Oh, this one needs to like, come out. Almost. Right. Except the ball. Well, it goes through a colorful tunnel. I just gotta wait for it to cook. Spin a fidget spinner. Now we are headed to the traveling exit. It's all about space. So he did tell us to get to touch some real space. Right? We got some uh, moon tires. Apollo fuel cell. It's an Apollo fuel cell. Real life moon rocks. Ooh, we can design a spacecraft. Welcome to the new spacecraft design station. Your challenge is to design a new spacecraft for interplanetary travel. When you're finished, we'll have some experts comment on your design. Along the way, you'll make many important design decisions, but the most important one of all is, where in the universe do you want to go? Your spacecraft will be assembled at a space, a nuclear rocket works by pumping a propellant. You your final decision will impact the size of the cargo module of your spacecraft. Here are some comments from our panel of spacecraft experts. Congratulations. All of our experts agreed that your design is excellent for your destination and mission. Now I like walking on a spaceship. Once you've settled in, I'm sure you can enjoy it. Good. Anyway, cool. stow your gear, strap on your boots, and get ready to go. Once Got some sleeping quarters here, a little bench. Just sit down. Yeah, it's not very soft. Oh, that is not. You can lay in there. Dinners, lunches. Now we're exiting the spaceship to do some more interactive things. Look, you can touch a Mars meteorite. Cool. Alrighty guys, so that's going to do it today here from Cranbrook Science Institute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It makes me feel good. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. Because you never miss a video if you subscribe. And with that being said guys, get your foot out the door and explore it. I'll see you guys in the next one.